greensmachines.com. Hello, fellow viewers. It is I, Vinny Grows Vegetables. Today we're going to be talking about reviving the hydroponic garden. And this is kind of a tougher task because there's a lot of work to do, namely getting plants restarted. Over here I've got two bins worth of uh, some new seedlings. Got an assortment of lettuce, some uh, cabbage family members like bok choy and uh, Chinese cabbage, kale. And we have things like Swiss chard also that we're bringing up to speed. So these are kind of big enough where I can transplant them to transplanting away from the rock wool into an actual net cup with some gravel. So I do have a few systems for that. I've discussed this in some prior videos, one of them being the uh, independent crack key pots, where it's essentially a juice cup with a net cup that's embedded in the lid. So that's one way I like to do this. The other way, which I haven't really discussed, but I may have shown it off, I've kind of got a mini uh, deep water culture set up here out of like an old spinach container that I've drilled a bunch of holes into the lids. And then I have the plants right there. So that's another option. Or alternatively, I can just put all the net cups into a little basin, like kind of the one that these are all sitting into. So I'm gonna be working on that today. I probably might not show myself record myself doing it. But once I'm done with that, I'll get seeds restarted as I know this is quite a bit of seeds, but it's not gonna be enough to, just, to sustain the garden throughout uh, the season. So we'll get some of those restarted. Oh look, basil actually did come up. So let me give you a quick idea of what I'm looking for when I'm transplanting these into net cups. You have a plant here. Okay, you see that? You should have a little net, should have some roots coming out the bottom. And if that's good, then you know it's kind of ready to go to the next stage. You just put it in a net cup. Come on. This is a little challenging. Sometimes the roots aren't really uh, cooperative. Okay, it goes in that cup. And then you can surround it with either uh, pea gravel or because I still have the supply of this uh, smart gravel, I'm gonna use that to surround my little seedlings. I think that's what this uh, stuff is actually meant for. And I should mention that the company did send me this bag for free. I'm required to disclose that but otherwise they have not paid me for any endorsement regarding this. So I'm gonna be taking a bunch of these seedlings and putting them in a little bin like this. And from here, I'm just gonna fill the basin with water, maybe a little nutrient solution to get them to get going. And then once these roots are a little longer, then they'll go into the garden. And uh, I'm gonna go show you how the garden looks right now in its new location, so sit back. So the hydroponic garden, we've relocated it, it, is now kind of on the back side of the house under a tree. Ideally though, I get some of these branches uh, above cut a bit so we can get some more sunlight. That's kind of a problem, but in the hot summer month or in the months with hot summer heat, I think this shade will be okay. And if you remember when I first ran this garden here, I was running it with a north facing wall or I had it on a north side facing yard. And for some reason, even in the winter, these the plants in here still did fine. So you'll have sun peering through the trees above me. Luckily, the nice thing about this spot is the reservoir, as you might know, has a pump that's powered and the power outlet is right there against the wall. So that's pretty nice. I did set myself a goal to get this garden running again by the 13th of March. And I think we can do that, especially if I can have just one row of plants ready to go into any one channel. And then with the supply lines, I can always isolate the flow so only one channel gets fed at a time. Or I'd say one row of channels, you know, just like that. So if this is the first time you're watching my channel, you may be wondering, what is this garden? It's a hydroponic garden that's very compact, as you can see. It's only got a footprint of about eight, nine square feet, and it can grow 72 plants simultaneously. And this would be leafy greens like basil, lettuce, kale, Swiss chard, small things like that. So if you wanna know more about how this garden came to be, there's plenty of videos in the back catalog on my channel. Or if you wanna build a garden like this, 
I am selling the plans to build this garden in my Etsy shop. So you can find the link there. And if you want to know more, you can always leave a comment below. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button if you found this video helpful, and we'll see you in another video.